Honda recently gave us the chance to make our wildest pickup truck dreams come true and to trick out a bunch of their new Ridgeline trucks. In this series, you're going to see what I and the tested team, that's Norm, Simone, Sean, Kishore, and Frank, came up with. Let's get started. So I heard we're going camping. We are in fact going camping. We're bringing oh. a bunch of custom gear. What did you want to make? So I've had this idea. I haven't gone camping that much and this project might reflect that, but I had this idea that it would be really sweet if you could take a bath in a bathtub while camping. Yeah. And I was thinking that you could have it in the back seat. In the cab? In the cab. Uh, you're, okay, the moment you said that, I thought, well, the hot tub in the bed, but you actually <laughs> want to build it into the cab. No one takes a bath while camping. Yeah, that's why we should do it. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm thinking. That's, that's definitely a first. I've never heard of that happening, and I peruse a lot of, of camping and off-roading sites, so, so this is a very unique it's a unique project and probably a unique set of problems that we have to solve to make this happen. We totally do. All right, let, let's get to some drawings. Cool. I'm looking at the plan view of one of these trucks and you want to build your tub here, is that right? Yeah, so I want to make it in the back seat because the seat folds up, so I think we're going to have a nice space for it to be there. But what I'm kind of wondering is how big the door is and if we could build the full bathtub outside and then slide it in. The first question is, what do you want to make the bathtub out of? I'm not sure. I've been thinking of either, I mean, it feels pretty ambitious to make one out of metal, but I'm thinking acrylic or... If I may. Or, yeah, you may. You okay. may most definitely am. Um, it's a large thing. It's holding hundreds and hundreds of pounds of water. Um, I would say build it out of three quarter inch um, fin ply birch ply. So it's multiple ply. You can screw and glue it together and then you can literally line the outside with fiberglass if you want to make it even stronger. Resin the inside and it'll hold water all day long. Really? Yeah. I do I do like the idea. You could of make a, a kind of a long trough like that. Mm. You'll want to put a framework that provides a sort of a table surface mm. that this sits on top of and probably registers to. Mm. Again, all that is really relatively trivial from an engineering standpoint. Um, if there's one thing we got good on at Mythbusters, it was um, making things waterproof. Mm, right. Um, and so you could literally build this and uh, screw, glue it together, uh, caulk the inner seams, and then coat the whole inside with resin, and it'll be a totally viable bathtub. Yeah, I think it sounds like a plan. So you haven't used a table saw before. I haven't used a table saw, and I can't wait to possess its power. Okay, so uh, first things first is you set the depth of the fence. So you bring that up to 22. You don't need to set the depth of the blade very high. We can bring that down a little bit, just a, a little bit higher than your cut. The whole trick is there, looking and making sure it's flush, flush against the fence. How's that feel? Great. <laughs> ah. There you go. You can get all the way inside of it. Yeah. There's your Alright, Simone, here's the ridge line. Sweet! Okay, so we need to measure how big the bathtub actually can be. It's a pretty spacious cabin here. Yeah, so there are two things I want to figure out. One is how can we build a platform that it can stand on because the surface isn't level? Oh. And also how big can the bathtub actually be? Right. So if you just okay. grab that over there, 
So we got about 55 inches if we're ambitious, but I think we should go on the lower side, maybe 48, so okay. that's the standard. 22, 23 inches wide. So we have this rail in the bottom and I took these two by fours and just added these shims because this one was a little bit taller than a regular two by four. So this and is I, your platform? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a sturdy enough platform. You ready for a test fitting? I'm ready for a test fitting. Let's try it out. Ah! That's it. Let's get <sighs> this thing inside. What if it doesn't fit? That's gonna be pretty terrible. So much work just <gasps> to get Simone. a decent bath. <gasps> it fits! <laughs> this is not gonna be. And there's not even water on there's it There's not even water. This is not gonna be a very graceful thing. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty nice. And you gotta go a little bit on the side because it's, this is, I have a lot of space, kind of. Surprising amount of space. It just needs one more thing. It needs to be a bath. Needs water, right? And we need to test if it's actually watertight, which is the second moment of truth. All right, let's do it. Ooh. I think it's watertight. I can't see any visual leakage, so I think we're ready to take this camping. We're at the campsite. The bathtub is in the truck. I got this 55 gallon water barrel and a submersible pump and a shower head. So I'm just gonna put it here through this window and then we can finally take a bath. So the water is in the bathtub. The only problem is that it's cold because I didn't get a solution for the heating, but I got a solution to that because I have this wetsuit and I'm gonna take a bath in a wetsuit. It's funny because that means that this is impractical, uncomfortable, and it won't even get me clean because I'm like super sweaty in this bat suit. This is actually really cool. Okay. <laughs> How good is this? This is like, this is life. I'm taking a bath in the truck and yeah, it might be a little bit impractical. It might not be super comfortable and it might not make me clean because I'm wearing a wetsuit, but this is freaking good. Like I, I am enjoying this. This is life. This is what you want out of life. If you didn't know that this was what you wanted, now you know. Check in next week. Got more fun stuff coming up like this. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs>